Hello plant community, thanks for tuning into this channel. My name is Pam and today you guys we're going to talk about yellowing leaves. So let's face it, if you have a plant collection then you have experienced yellowing leaves from time to time and it's important for you as the plant parent to identify the causes to prevent any further damages. So today you guys I'll be talking about five common reasons why our plants are turning yellow. So reason number one is watering. So I decided to go ahead and group uh, overwatering as well as underwatering in this category. Now when we water our plants, the roots can become waterlogged, causing root rot in which case your leaves will not only turn yellow but also wilt as well. And underwatering your plant can be just as deadly um, because when we do not provide our plants with the amount of water that it needs, the plant will be dehydrated and the leaves will turn yellow and it will wilt as well. So you want to remember to check the condition of the soil by sticking your finger in there or using your moisture meter to identify the difference between the two. Now, common reason number two would be nutrient deficiencies such as a lack of nitrogen, which can be found in our synthetic fertilizers. But if you prefer the natural route, then using coffee grounds or fish emulsions would be the way to go. Um, also, another nutrient deficient would be iron. So you can choose the chelated iron, which is a powder form, or you can use the liquid form, and they also have granules. So I recommend you checking your local nurseries or possibly your big box stores to see what options that they do have. And then the last uh, nutrients, of course, would be, I guess, magnesium, which can be found in your compost that you actually put to the side, or Epsom salt, which I found was a fun fact. Now, these nutrients are essential um, for healthy plant growth, and in some cases, not supplying your plants with the proper vitamins or nutrients that um, it needs will cause yellowing leaves, and in some cases, even kill your plants. So common reason number three, you guys, would be environmental stress. Now these are stresses due to environmental factors such as low light, uh, cold drafts, high temperatures. This is what we typically experience after we purchase our plant and it's getting acclimated to our environment. So uh, for you new plant parents out there, if you buy a plant and you see two days later that it starts, uh, leaves start turning yellow, maybe one or two, Please keep in mind that it's just a normal thing that all plants go through as they just get acquainted to the new conditions that they've been introduced to. Um, now number four, you guys, is diseases. Diseases such as root rot um, or bacterial leaf spot can cause yellowing of the leaves. Now these diseases can be caused by environmental factors such as overwatering on your plant or poor air circulation. So I recommend always using a fan to kind of like circle, um, circulate the air um, in the room wherever you have your plants. An example, you guys, as you can see, I don't know if you can notice, but right here, um, my pink princess is blowing because I do have a fan right here in this room because sometimes it can get a little humid or possibly warm in here. But not only that, you guys, you want to do your best as far as creating that outside environment that plants are used to. And when they're outside, they're used to having wind and air circulation um, to better prepare or also make a healthier uh, plant. So keep that in mind. Now, common reason number five, you guys, is pest infestations. Spider mites and aphids are known for depleting the plant of its saps which causes the leaves to become discolored and distorted. So for more information on how you can avoid or get rid of pests, you can check out my video that I'll have posted around here because I do believe I just recently covered that. If you're interested, please check it out. I think it's very beneficial. Now, I also wanted to show you guys an example of what I mean. And like I said, this channel is about us learning together. So I'm always going to show you the good, bad, and the ugly side of being a plant parent. So this plant, you guys, is actually one of my beautiful skin dapses. I believe this is the Silver Splash. I'm not sure. I can't remember if this was Silver Splash or Exotica. But I particularly wanted to show you the yellow leaf. And I didn't pull it yet because I was saving it really for this video. I have a habit, you guys, of actually waiting until, um, if you've been watching me, I always say you can tell when a plant needs a good drink, when the leaves start curling. And I noticed skin dapses are known for actually communicating in that way. And one of the things that I do notice about myself is that 
I can be a underwater at a lot of times and I think it's because my plant collection has grown a lot and I've learned to not be that helicopter parent over time and so sometimes I may forget to water my plants when um, they start communicating and in this case it was curled but I went beyond a couple of days beyond it not being well a couple of days beyond it being curled and this is the result of it so I did give it a drink I'm going to cut these leaves off but like I said I wanted to show you guys exactly what it you know what the yellowing leaves can be you know and a good tip too if you are having yellowing leaves it's always good to check the plants anyway or the leaves anyway for infestation just to be on the safe side and yeah so I just wanted to share that with you um, another fun fact about myself you guys I noticed that I'm when I do water my plants I'm heavy-handed with the watering but I am very traditional with letting the majority of my plants in my collection dry out with the exception of my uh, more moisture loving plants such as my marantas, my begonias, as well as my asparagus fern over there. Um, I'm just learning to water them a little bit more often. So with those plants, you guys, I'm still being like a um, helicopter parent, so to speak, but that's just a sidebar. So basically, the end of this uh, video, you guys, you just want to remember simply adjusting your water and light conditions can be enough to prevent the yellowing of the leaves. In other cases, additional steps such as fertilizing or treating for pests or disease can also be beneficial as well. So just be mindful of that, you guys. Like I said, this was a very quick and informative video. It wraps it up for today. Keep in mind, if you love foliage as much as I do and you love listening to planty things, please subscribe to this channel. Um, like, share, push the thumbs up. I appreciate your support wherever you are. And y'all guys, enjoy your day wherever you are in the world. Until next time, much love.